Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the lecture session I guess, right? So we have been again talking about kinetics and application of uh, mass balances to the various reactors. So as you are have been following the course I guess you will know that we have been spending considerable time on this particular aspect and the reason being that the applications are ubiquitous and you know wherever you uh, work I guess, right? You are going to if you delve into the details, going to apply material balance on most of the reactors that you see here. So again we are been looking at I believe uh, an irreversible reaction case A goes to 2B and so on. So now we are going to make it slightly more complex A uh, goes to B but this time it is also a reversible reaction so B also transforms to A, right? So let us look at that particular example I guess. So what do we have here now? We have a first order, right? And instead of it just being A goes to B or A goes to 2B as in the earlier case, we are also going to have a reversible reaction here. So this is now a reversible reaction, right? So what next? So let us identify rate of loss of A, rate of loss of A is equal to rate constant into concentration of A, right? And that will again be equal to rate of formation of B. Right, so that is something that is obvious from here. And what is rate of loss of B? That is going to be equal to now uh, you have a K again, so let us call this K forward, the earlier case, and this as K backward, right? Rate constant for the backward reaction, and that is going to be Cb. That is again going to equal to the rate for rate of formation of A. I mean if this is not clear, let us uh, clear this up I guess. What is rate of reaction 1? Reaction 1 is the forward reaction, what is that equal to? It is the rate constant, we say rate constant is K forward, right? And times the reactant, what is the reactant for the reaction going forward? It is concentration of A, right? So that is what we have here. And for this particular reaction, we know that, you know, rate of uh, what we say, let us say forward, I will call that forward rate of forward will be equal to rate of 1 by or rate of loss of A, right? In this case by the stoichiometric coefficient will be equal to rate of formation of B by the stoichiometric coefficient of B and I believe that is what we see in this particular case here. And so if we are talking about rate of the backward reaction, right? And here it is going to be equal to rate constant of the backward reaction times the concentration of the reactant and in this case we are talking about the backward reaction, right? So that is the reactant is B, right? And as we are aware, how do we uh, set them up to the other aspects here? The rate of the backward reaction is going to be equal to rate of formation of A, right? As you see B goes to A by the stoichiometric coefficient of A, right? And that is equal to rate of loss of B by the stoichiometric coefficient of B. So since I am using the terms formation and loss and loss and formation here, I am not using or giving any more uh, signs here, right? If I did not use the terms loss or formation, then I obviously need to put in the relevant signs with respect to the negative and uh, positive for formation or loss. So again, thus set conforms to this particular set, yes. So now let us move on, uh, we will have our material balance for our A, material balance for A. So our case now obviously is the first case is always our batch reactor, we are looking at our batch reactor and again what is that? It is a closed system with no flow coming in or going out and obviously it is completely mixed throughout and we know that for the batch reactor it is the relevant equation for mass balance is dCA by dT equal to rate of formation of A minus rate of loss of A, right? And the reason for choosing this example where A goes to B and B goes to A or it is A and B are reversible I guess, the transformations from A and B is that now we are going to have a new term too unlike the last case which is a loss of A. So let us plug in the relevant uh, values and see what we have. So I believe that would transform into dCA by dT 
would be equal to where is rate of formation of A here please and that is here rate of formation of A right that is equal to KB CB and minus and where is the rate of loss of A and that is somewhere out here and that is going to be equal to rate constant of the forward reaction into concentration of E. So, as we see here we are now left with a dilemma here and the reason being that we have one equation and uh, we have two unknowns here unlike the last case where we were able to integrate that because we had only one particular variable there but here we have two variables. So, how do we go about that again? So, we end up calculating the dCA by dt here right and as we are just discussing uh, we have two uh, variables here and we are thus not able to solve this particular equation by itself. So, what do we do? We end up applying the stoichiometry right and let us look at uh, what we have there. So, we have the change in A C A minus C A naught by stoichiometric coefficient of A and this is going to be let us say negative I guess right times C B minus C B naught by stoichiometric coefficient of B right. So, let me just uh, jot this down the next page it is D C A by D T is equal to K B C B rate constant of B into concentration of B minus K F into concentration of A and we at the same time the stoichiometry I believe we have is C A minus C A naught or the negative symbol because they are going to move in the opposite directions stoichiometric coefficient of A <coughs> pardon me is equal to C B minus C B naught by stoichiometric coefficient of A right. So, this is what we have pardon me not A here it is going to be B right and we know that for this reversible reaction A goes to B stoichiometric coefficient of A is going to be equal to the stoichiometric coefficient of B that is equal to 1. So, let us see what we end up having here I guess substituting that uh, minus of C A plus C A naught is equal to C B minus C B naught right and so what do we see here I want to calculate for C B. So, C B is going to be equal to C A naught minus C A right and if I take this term out to the left hand side it is going to be plus C B naught right. So, let us look at our calculation here C B is going to be equal to C A naught minus C A plus C B naught right looks like we are on the right track here and I am going to plug this equation in here right and let us see how that is going to transform into D C A by D T is equal to the rate constant of the backward reactions times C A naught minus C A plus C B naught right minus K F into concentration of A right and so that would then be K B into C A naught minus K B into C A plus K B into C B naught minus K F into concentration of A. That here will be equal to what now please? So, I am going to take minus C A uh, common here I guess minus C A into K B plus K F right and here I can take out K B to be the common factor here K B into C A naught plus C B naught right this is what I we have here let us check our calculations here <coughs> pardon me. So, C A negative C A common K B plus K F and that is what we have here and then we have K B uh, the common factor here and C A naught plus C B naught right. So, I guess let me rearrange this so that it uh, similar to what it is that we have looked at in uh, you know some similar cases in the past let us say plus C A into K B plus K F is equal to K B into what do we have here please C A naught plus C B naught right. 
So, now how do we solve this I guess right and this is the equation we have and we are stuck with here how do we end up uh, solving this. So, for this case I believe uh, we need to use <coughs> the integrating factor right and what is this about I guess most people might have background for those who do not have this we are going to look at this. So, if your differential equation is of this particular form dy by dx plus y into p of x is equal to q of x right. So, differentiation of y with respect to x plus y times a function of x any function is equal to q times a function of x. So, what, what do we see here though? So, dy y is your c a here x is your t. So, d c a by d t plus c a which is your y term here right or let me write that down here I guess so that it makes more sense. So, d y by d x plus y times a function of x is equal to q times a function of x right <coughs> that is what we see. So, d y by d x plus y times a function of x plus q is equal to q times a uh, uh, function of uh, x again right. So, for that case what is the solution or where does do we get that from? We get that from d by d x of uh, we introduce a term integrating factor of y into y <coughs> is equal to integrating factor into q of x right. And what is this integrating factor about right that is equal to e to the power of or exponential of p of x into d x right. So, this would be your solution or obviously, once you integrate this you will get the solution. So, in our case what is the uh, uh, p of x please in our case the p of x is k b plus k f that is our p of x right. And so, now our integrating factor in this case is going to be e to the power of k b plus k f times what is your x, x is our t dt right. So, what do we have here integrating factor as this. So, let us try to write this down in the uh, second uh, page and then continue <coughs> from there please. So, we just have integrating factor is equal to exponential of p of x that is in our case k f plus k b times uh, dx and that is for us dt I guess right is not that the case please. Yes, that is our case here and what is our d c a by uh, d t and our equation was something like d c a by d t plus c a into k f plus k b right was equal to k b times concentration of a initial and concentration of B initial. So, this is what we have right and as we just talked about we have our solution here. <coughs> so, without trying to uh, you know uh, take you through the relevant details right we will have the relevant solution here. So, that looks like should end up as being C A is equal to C A naught into exponential of minus of K A plus K B into time k not k a pardon me c a k f plus k b into c a naught plus c b naught right by k a plus k b right and hopefully we are on the right track seems similar into 1 minus and this I guess is from the constant right exponential of into time. So, thus is our solution to our equation now and where is this from? Once we identified the uh, method to be the one we would <coughs> get if we use the integrating factor. So, right let, uh, let us see what we have here. So, before we go further obviously, you want to check right. So, before we check let us uh, simplify this a bit further and then go by. So, I want to apply everything or you know uh, take out k f right the rate constant in the uh, or backward direction anyway and 
have only k forward and k equilibrium right rate constant and equilibrium constant what is kf rate constant in the forward of the forward reaction kb is the rate constant of the backward reaction and what is k equilibrium obviously it's the equilibrium constant right so at equilibrium let's say at equilibrium what is it going to be now you know that rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the uh, backward reaction so what does that translate into so that's k f into c a is equal to k b into c b or what does that mean it means c a by c b is equal to c a by c b is equal to k b by k <coughs> f right so what is that equal to it's equal to 1 by k equilibrium right and that's what you would see or let's write that down in another matter another form how do we get this k equilibrium now for a goes to uh, b now what is that we know that that's equal to cb by ca right that's where we get these particular this particular equation from and that's equal to cb by ca equal to kf by kb right so let's plug this in to simplify the relevant equation <coughs> And so, what do we end up with here? I guess so. We have C A is equal to C A naught into exponential of minus K F plus K B into time plus K B into uh, what else do we have here? C A naught plus C B naught by kf plus kb right into 1 minus exponential of minus kf plus kb into time this is what we have so now once we plug in the relevant equations what do they transform into ca equal to ca the <coughs> not into exponential of minus k f by k equilibrium right and this is one particular term into 1 plus k equilibrium into obviously time again so that is what you have there earlier right plus c a naught plus c b naught right times k c a naught plus c b naught times and here we only now have k b by k f plus k b right let us see what that would transform into <coughs> that would transform into 1 by 1 plus k equilibrium right into 1 minus exponential of minus k f by k equilibrium should be similar to what we have here right into 1 plus k equilibrium k is the capital k obviously right k equilibrium times t anyway it is a complex equation so obviously we do not expect you to mug it up but there is a particular reason why we just uh, try to solve for this and we will see why I guess right. So, here we are going to check for our limits and what are they we are going to try to look at what is going to be c a right when time is equal to 0 right what is c a going to be when time is equal to 0. So, let us uh, plug that in please and look that up. So, c a will be equal to c a naught right and what do we have here time 0 e to the power of 0 right and that is going to be equal to 1 yes plus c a naught c b naught and here more or less all this stay the same stay the same 1 minus e to the power of 0. So, all this term here becomes 0 when t equal to 0 right. So, that means equal to 0. So, as you see it is just simplifies into C a equal to C a naught that means the solution is right yes 
So, that is what we expect here and that is what we see too right. So, and let us see what the system would be or what is the C A or the equilibrium value going to be when time goes to infinity right. Again at infinity we know that what is that I guess K A C A or K F C A is equal to K backward into C uh, B right. So, what does that mean again C B by C A this is something we just discussed earlier is equal to rate constant of f by rate constant of b that is equal to the equilibrium constant right. So, at equilibrium, so at equilibrium what do we see here c a at equilibrium right c a at equilibrium is equal to c b at equilibrium this is from this particular equation here right c b at equilibrium by k at equilibrium yes and so this is what we have until now. So, let us see if this is something that we can use and go through I guess right and what next please. So, we have C A at equilibrium is equal to and we know C B at equilibrium is going to be what now C B naught plus C A naught minus C A at equilibrium right divided by the equilibrium constant or KQ. So, again C A at equilibrium is now going to be equal to what now C B naught C B naught plus C A naught right and as you see it will then transform into by 1 plus K equilibrium yes and that is what we see here C A take this out here and that becomes right we are on the right track here yes and so as t goes to infinity I guess right as t goes to infinity what is it that we expect that I guess right as t goes to infinity let us see what happens now. So, we know that as t goes to infinity exponential of minus k f plus k b into time this is what we had earlier in one of the equations right what will thus uh, this go to this will go to 0 right this will go to 0. So, then C A at infinity is equal to what 0. So, I am now taking you through this particular equation here right. So, and now I am plugging in time is equal to infinity right. So, this term is equal to 0 yes. So, this term will be 0 here and what else and if again this term is also 0 yes these two terms turn out to be 0. So, what am I left with? I am only left with this particular term and what is that? That is equal to 0 plus C A naught plus C B naught by 1 plus K equilibrium right and that is what we just derived here and say again that is a check again right. So, at time equal to infinity we just saw that the check was fine again. So, we looked at that. So, now let us look at the last case and be done with for today. So, we are going to look at when the rate constant of the forward reaction is far greater than the rate constant of the backward reaction. What does this mean? It means it is a irreversible reaction right. Let us plug this in and then see what it is. And if we look at that uh, we also I think uh, looked at some case when A goes to B this is more or less a irreversible reaction we knew that for that particular case C A was equal to C A naught into E power minus K T right. So, we want to be able to substitute the K F is far greater than K B in our reversible reaction transforming it into an irreversible reaction as A goes to B and see if we will get the relevant equation now right. So, if we plug it in in this particular equation again yes let us see what we will end up with. So, we are going to have C A is equal to C A naught into exponential of minus K F plus K B into T right plus K B 
into C A naught plus C B naught by K F plus K B right hopefully we are on the right track into 1 minus exponential of minus of and what do we have here K F plus K B into T right. And so again simplifying this uh, further we end up with C A naught into exponential of minus k forward is far greater than k backward. So, it is just going to be k forward into time plus right f we end up with 1 minus or uh, this term <coughs> here is going to then be 0 right this is going to be 0 into 1 minus and so on this term here. So, this is going to be the case again here. So, as you see here we end up with C A is equal to C A naught into exponential of minus k f into time and what do we see here that equation right is similar to what we just derived in the previous session for a goes to b right. So, we just looked at the three cases when time is equal to 0 we saw that C a is equal to I believe C a naught right and we also looked at the case when time is equal to infinity C a at equilibrium we derived that. And we also saw when k forward is far greater than k b right that the solution is similar to the case when a goes to b which is c a equal to c a naught into e power minus k t right. Uh, so, with that I guess we will be done for this session and thank you.